Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen again. It's a beautiful Friday, it's a good Friday. I'm ready to cook something good for you. Now this dish right here is gonna be a little different. My youngest son, he does not like spaghetti. Only because, believe it or not, he don't like the marinara sauce. He don't like no kind of tomato sauce. But I found a spaghetti dish he loves about three or four years ago. Been cooking it ever since. It's called spaghetti carbonara. And I'm going to show you how to make it today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Okay, to all my Italian folks out there, I know this is not exactly authentic because I'm not using the quinchali, which is the jaw meat of the pig. I am using thick cut bacon. That's what I'm using today. This dish right here is basically bacon and eggs in spaghetti but it's the way you make it. So let's get over here and let me show you how to do that. We're going to the stove first. We're going to boil some spaghetti. Okay, and the spaghetti I'm using is Barilla. I just like their spaghetti, it's real good stuff. We're going to cook this al dente probably for about, we're going to cook it probably about around eight minutes. So let's do that. First and foremost, don't boil your spaghetti in tap water. All them chemicals gets into your pasta. Don't do it, get you some purified water. I'm going to be making about eight ounces of this. So I'm not going to use a lot of water. I'm just going to cover it up because we're going to need some of this water in the dish, believe it or not, and we're going to need all the starches in. So I'm probably going to put about two inches in the bottom of this pan. Okay, I use right out a half a gallon. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and cook this up according to the directions, about eight minutes. Now that we've got our noodles going over there, I'm going to chop up about, mm, about three pieces of this thick cut bacon. Probably be around four pieces, I'd say, if you're just using regular bacon. Okay, all cut up. Okay, now that I've got it chopped up, I'm gonna shred me some of this Romano cheese here. I like to get the blocks of cheese, especially when I'm cooking Italian food, because believe it or not, you know, like Parmesan, sometimes I use Parmesan in this dish too. If you get your cheese that's already shredded, it's got stuff in there to keep that stuff shredded. And one of the things I don't like is micro sawdust. You know, have you ever seen your spaghetti shakers with the Parmesan cheese? That's got sawdust in it. And so does shredded cheese. They put the fine sawdust in there to keep it apart. That's why I like shredding my cheese. So I'm gonna shred about, mm, probably be around four ounces of this. Okay, let's add our bacon in our pan. You know if you're starting a dish out with bacon, something's gonna be good. What I'm gonna do now is get a garlic clove and just crush it. It's already peeled, see? I'm just going to put it in there. I'm not going to chop it up. I'm going to take that garlic clove out in a minute. I'm just getting the flavor in there. Probably going to leave it in there maybe a minute. I don't want to burn it. I just want to get some of that flavor into that oil. You know you got to have garlic in it if it's Italian. I'm going to try to find me some of that quinchale, which is the jowl of a pig. I couldn't find it in my grocery store. So I, I am going to find it and try it so it'll be completely authentic. But I'm going to tell you this right here. A jaw of a pig or the bacon, <laughs> it's really the same thing, to me anyway. Mm -hmm, that's smelling I'm right. Got my heat on a medium. Okay, while that's cooking, let me show you this so you'll have it ready. Have two eggs beat real good. They beat them real good. Now watch this. See the cheese? Put the cheese in there with it. Probably around half of it. And mix it up with it. See, mix it up with the cheese. Okay. Looks like our bacon's ready. I'm going to go ahead and get the garlic out. Dispose of it. You're done with it. You're going to take your pasta. You ain't got to worry about draining it or nothing. Put it over in there. Cut your heat down to medium low. Get that pasta in there. Don't worry about the water. Okay, now let's get it all mixed together. Mm -mm -mm. Try this, everybody. This is a very popular dish in Italy. Get all that goodness stirred in together. Get that bacon drippings all in your pasta. Now this stuff works real fast. We're going to turn this around probably a good minute or so. It's such a simple dish. It'll be so good. Make sure I got all that good bacon dripping all in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper now. Probably a half a teaspoon or so, maybe even a teaspoon. Can't go wrong with that pepper. I'm not going to add no salt. I'll add all that to the, at the end of it because that bacon's got salt in it. 
Now we're going to add about a probably a half a cup or so of the water from the stock. And when it cools down like that, that's what you're listening for. Now I'm going to add my egg and cheese. Put it in there. And stir that stuff in good. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's going to make such a beautiful cream sauce. Stir it well. Mm -mm -mm. I'm having to work fast here, so watch me close. See what that does with that egg? It does the same thing it did in that egg drop soup. It thickens everything up. And it cooks it fully. Perfect. I'm going to top it with my cheese again. And this is dying, everybody. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Mmm, that fresh grated cheese, you can't beat it. Look at this cheese sauce, everybody. Can you see that? Look at that. Look at that sauce it made. How pretty that is, oh my goodness. Okay, that's all there are to it. Let's get it plated over here and give it a taste test. Look how pretty that is, everybody. You're talking about some good stuff. If you got somebody that don't like traditional spaghetti, let them try this. All right, let's taste test this. I already know it's gonna be good. Like I say, I use Romano cheese in this, but sometimes I use Parmesan. I have used half and half, but try to stick to those two cheeses. This come out perfect every time. Let's taste it. All right, let's get some of that goodness out. Look at this, everybody. Look at all that cheese. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that, you got your bacon. You got your egg, you got your cheese, you got your noodles. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get into this. Mm. This will be another dish you make a lot because it's not very expensive to make. And it is so good. Look at that, everybody. Mmm. Give this spaghetti carbonara a chance. I'm telling you, give it a try. You seen how simple it was to make? Got any questions about it? Feel free to comment below. But y'all try this one. I'm telling you, it is real, real good. Thank you for watching today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall with Jesus as always, Lord of all. Happy Good Friday, everybody. And we'll see you next time on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall.